morning. Morning. Welcome from a very wet Fossen. <laughs> you can Just... see all the mist and everything on the uh, the mountains, and it's basically rain everywhere. But we've made a plan, and the plan is to so head east for two and a half hours to uh, a lake basically. It's still going to be pretty wet there but uh, a change is good as anything isn't it? So this is uh, the machine where everything happens. You can pay here, you get a card that you uh, put in to recharge electricity, check in, check out, extend, etc. So it works quite well. You have to put all your details in here when you arrive as well. But one thing I would say about this site is this is the Ryanair of airs. Everything is extra. So you have to pay extra to go to the toilet to have a shower. Oh, the grey waste looks like it's free. I think you have to uh, pay extra for the chemical toilet. So, yeah, even fresh. I had to tap to get fresh water on the card that I've charged up. And then the next bit of the process, once you've charged your card for electricity, is you come here uh, and you get your card and tap it on there. Every tap is a euro, uh, depending on how much you've charged, uh, and then you've got electricity. At the end of your stay, if you want to refund, you press the refund button, tap the card and get a refund of any remaining credit. So yeah, very technological, the most technological air uh, that uh, we've been on so far. Quite confusing too. <laughs> Everything's confusing until you know how it works. I've already said this is the, uh, the Ryanair of uh, airs. Oh. Everything's extra. <laughs> yeah, we need. There should be a, a noise, shouldn't there? When you uh, <laughs> yeah. when when we leave, maybe when when we leave, there might be a. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. <laughs> this is what I like. A map and lots of routes of things to do. It's going to rain, otherwise we'll probably ride around the whole lake. Maybe tomorrow. It's the motorhome park just there and then on a lovely day you can do windsurfing, take the boats out. They've actually got a boat here that Andrew's just going to go and get a ticket. We think, we did get given a ticket when we paid, um, we get a free crossing because there's an island that you can see just over there and we think there's a castle on it. I think, don't know, can't see it. I don't like it! <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I don't like it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't like it. Well, we've ditched the legs and picked up the bikes. It really is a biking place, not a, a hiking place. It's a long way to get round to the other side. Fingers crossed, no rain. Looks like a good place to hire a bike. a bit fast. I've done it a thousand times before.
David and Martin, that one's for you. What I'm doing? Putting my boots on in a bag. It is absolutely tipping it down. Oh, and we're going to go on a boat. Oh, the joys. We've left Britain and all the delightful rain there to come to even more rain and storms. Great. <laughs> Extreme weather. boat won't even run you know just to add insult to everything we'll be like no we're not running because it's thunder and lightning yes this is where we are right now uh, and we're going to get a boat over to the island where there's something really magnificent to see and it's indoors which is great because it's <laughs> the rain <laughs> yeah it looks a great area to explore <laughs> when it's not raining here we go on the boat in the rain. That was 10 euro 20 each return. And a seat babe. In or out. Well, we're off the boat. How long did that take? About 20 minutes was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 20 minutes. As soon as you get off the boat, there's a place to buy tickets for the palace. They were 20 euros for two. Uh, and now it's a 20 minute walk up to the palace. It's a guided tour, so we're gonna get some coffee, I think, before we uh, jump on our tour. There's the palace. gardens go and fountains that's pretty impressive bodes well for the inside I think free lockers to put your bags in which you can't take inside unless you have them on the front and uh, just toilets down there well time to head back to the boat it was okay I think inside the palace it was probably the most grand thing I've ever seen but uh, we just want some sunshine. Can't you tell? Can't you tell this face is not happy? <laughs> What's your favourite bit inside the palace? The bedroom. The bedroom was amazing. Very grand. Walked in there and it's the most grand thing you've ever seen in your life. Even just the tapestry over the bed took seven years with a hundred women, was it? hundred women making it? I can't I remember. So. It was like unbelievable. The bedroom actually cost as much as the whole place did, didn't it? The island. Yeah, the, the island. island, to buy the island, yeah, that's right. Uh, his bathtub was impressive. It was about... Swimming pool size. Yeah, two metres deep <laughs> and probably uh, eight metres diameter. All the rooms that, that there were you know, off the scale impressive. The, by a long way better than anything I've seen anywhere. So that's the day's entertainment done. We've only got one thing left. Oh. It's, well, it's a highlight. It's the second highlight of the day, and that's to go to Audi and do some shopping. Oh my god. So it's number plate recognition to get in and out of this place. There we go. Oh, you're slightly <laughs> panicked, I can tell in your voice. No, just, <laughs> just, uh, just waiting. It's clear this way. Just over three hours to drive to Italy. 
through, uh, through Austria. Italiano, baby! With gelato! With gelato! <laughs> We are back at our favourite McDonald's again with the fantastic view but uh, not so impressed with the food. Delightful McMuffin. Impressive <laughs> pancakes. Not. The drinks are okay. We're back on the bread of hearts. Have to say McDonald's. Pancakes, bad mistake. It was like mini frisbees or tasted like an old tyre. So never having that again. I went in saying I wanted a muffin. Should have stuck to the original plan. Lesson learned. Egg McMuffin was okay. Oh, yes. Small, but uh, tasted good. He did end up eating a pancake. <laughs> Look, the weather is drier. We have no rain. Oh my god, first time in almost a week. <laughs> Here we are. 24 hours, 30 euros, and there is all wash facilities, toilets, and stuff as well. And you just choose how long you stay there for. Sounds right to me. Yeah, just a nightmare getting the card out. Press the button, and it comes out with the card. For reason why I'm trying to shove my own card in. Time for a bike ride. We're out, and it's not raining. Although I say that, we've just had a look. It's been shown it might be raining soon. Yeah, so we need to get on with this. Yes, we do. Big climb, 5,000 feet, 26 miles. Should be good. It will be good, not should be good. Put it there, babe. Straight off the campsite, onto a trail. <laughs> On this ride, we're gonna go down there and then not all the way to the top, but uh, fairly high up along that ridge there, back and round. I learned when in South Africa on the vineyards, was the reason they put roses at the end. And that is because the flies We'll attack the roses first and if they do they know to treat the grapes the vines with anti-pesticide Leaves can be tricky to get over. This is a footpath, not a cycle path. I think you've got to be a psychopath to come down here. Oh, <laughs> nice no stingers! Are we nearly at the end? No, but it's flat, we can ride. This is a 
got disaster written all over it. Oh, oh! <laughs> got my mud guard stuck in places it shouldn't be. What's that tree done to you? <laughs> I didn't come that way, I came this way. It's a bit not as steep. <laughs> Almost back, but just could not pass this place without getting a drink. Look at it. Beautiful lake. It's actually really set up well for going swimming there as well, which, you know, maybe before we leave. Not today. And no apple spritz today. They could have done, but I've gone for a Hugo. So those that don't know what a Hugo is, you'll have to Google because I can't actually remember. <laughs> Soda water, Prosecco and whatever the Hugo thing is. Syrup. H Hugo juice. D oh, that sounds awful. It's very nice though. I recommend you try it. It has a little bit of mint in it and lemon. It's delicious. Very refreshing. Ah, so you have to pay to go in, but 5 50 for a beautiful place like that, I think is okay. Yeah, it's full it's now. And there's an extra person in there. And we're back anyway. Bye. First night in Italy, doing as the Italians do. Basta! Spaghetti carbonara. Oh god, whose favourite is this? Well, you know that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so we have the recycling. The washing up facilities, completely electronic pay station for checking out. Toilets, showers, basin, and here we have the washroom where our washing is hopefully dry. Yeah. 